Hello! In this video we will consider the work with dashboards and widgets in the Smartex application. Dashboards are divided into three categories – the main page, points, and custom dashboards. The main page contains information about all devices and points connected to the system. Also, the main page displays only the main alarm and main alarm for each point. The Points tab displays device pages that contain all the signals coming from this device. When creating a point and connecting a device, widgets are automatically attached to each signal according to a given template. If it's needed, each point can be edited and changed in the custom dashboards. Custom dashboards are custom pages that can contain information combined into the card from any device. Widgets are divided into three categories. The first category is the widgets for analog signals. Here are all the widgets that are present in the system at the moment for displaying analog signals. There are the visualization widgets that display the current parameter values. They are the control widgets that allow you to set the parameter values. The second category is the discrete widgets, which are also divided into two categories. The widgets displaying the state of the signal and the widgets controlling the signal. The third category is the other widgets, which include text and a button to switch to another dashboard. To edit widgets, you need to click the Edit Dashboard button and enter the Edit mode. You can see that widgets now have settings. You can delete or edit the widget or add the new widget to the dashboard. The widget settings specify the widget type, parameter, it is the signal associated with the widget, information about this signal, it can be displayed manually or it displays the name of the attached tag, the number of decimal places, signal units, and adapting the widget scale to the maximum and minimum limits set in the signal settings. There are several types of control widgets. Widgets that use a provisional value and widgets that use manual values. Also, there is an additional settings for asking for confirmation the application of the command in the control widgets. In this case, it is asking for confirmation the application of changes. In this widget, the settings is disabled and the value is applied automatically. As one signal is attached to all widgets, so we can see a warning frame on each of them. And if you acknowledge one widget, then the signal is acknowledged on all the widgets. The settings are similar in discrete control widgets. Only the widget type parameter, the associated signal, and showing caption are specified in discrete informational widgets. The signal that displays the state of the tag is set in the tag parameter settings. In the other widgets, the text is set manually and can be edited separately. The button for switching to another dashboard has a widget, the dashboard to which switch is made, the label and the color button. You can also to configure the display of the icon or transparency. To configure the layout of widgets, place them on the grid. If you specify an arbitrary order, then widgets will be grouped automatically. To add a widget, you need to click plus new widget, select its type and select the associated signal. By default, the name of the widget corresponds to the name of the signal. Let's consider the widgets with a background picture. This card contains all the widgets which can be placed on top of the picture. You can see that a white background is used as a background picture. Widgets are also divided into visualization and control widgets for analog and discrete values. To display the parameter, you can use progress bars, fill-in objects, scales or values. 
The polygon and polyline widgets are used to display object fill-out lines or drawing objects. You can create arbitrary shapes by using a polygon widget. You can create arbitrary outlines by using a polyline widget. Analog values are attached to the polygon and polyline. Each of these values can be assigned its own color. If no color is specified, the default colors are applied. The polyline widget has the same settings. You can set the signal parameters at which they take on corresponding color for a polygon and polyline widgets. If the values correspond to this signal, the color will change. If the values do not match this signal, the color is applied by default. Widgets for discrete signals are also customizable to display color and information about the signal. You can set the color that the widget takes when the signal values are 0 and 1. You can display information on mnemonic diagrams, show the paths of filling tables, text and parameter values, and you can manage the parameter values using these widgets. Let's summarize. You can create your own custom dashboard if you have rights to create new dashboards. You can place on the dashboard the cards for standard widgets and cards with a background picture. To add a widget, click on the plus button, select the widget type and assign a signal on it. To add a widget to a background card, we must first upload an image and then add the widget. You can replace the widget using the mouse or using coordinates. You can display paths on diagram using a polyline widget. You can draw objects on a diagram using a polygon widget. If you have already a diagram that you want to display, you can upload it as an image and place widgets on top to display and manage the options. In this video we considered the work with dashboards and widgets in the SmartX application. Thanks for your attention!